What's up, beautiful people? Today we're going to be checking out Trevor Noah. This is his first time visiting um, Australia. I feel like we haven't done comedy a lot. We've been doing a lot of like music reaction, which is fine, which is fine, which is fine. But we're trying to switch it up a little. So we're going to check out a little bit of Trevor Noah. And this was 10 years ago. So, um, wow, that's that's a long time. Uh, 10 years. Where was I? I was 17. Oh, oh, man getting old. I'm getting old. Um, but yeah, if you guys enjoyed the content, you know, smash the like button. Greatly appreciate it. We're trying to hit 20K by the end of this year. And I will gladly appreciate that. But let's get some laughter in and let's enjoy ourselves. So crazy and welcome to the stage, the wonderful Trevor Noah! Yeah. Yeah. He's honestly underrated as a comedian. Good evening. Or not. <laughs> Sorry, I, I get nervous when I start a comedy set. I, uh, ah, I find I find comedy is very similar to sex for me. Um, well, it's exactly like sex when you think about it. You know, just me, the comedian, playing the role of the man. You, the audience, the role of the woman. Ooh. It's, it's my job to satisfy you, <laughs> and, and you just have to sit there. <laughs> It's called Pillow Princess. <laughs> it's called being a Pillow Princess. <laughs> my success or failure is somehow determined by how much noise you make oh. during my performance. <laughs> it now. Thank you. Yeah. It's a one-sided affair. Yeah. So I hope you aren't the quiet types. <laughs> <laughs> Great, really. <laughs> <laughs> that guy that laughed so hard, that must have been a personal thing. Oh, wait, ah, from experience. Experience is laughing right there. <laughs> Makes it worse when a guy laughs in the middle of it. <laughs> it's not meant to be funny. <laughs> uh my first time in Australia and I must say I'm enjoying it. After two days of traveling to get here, I, I finally arrived and it's, it's a, quite a quaint place. Um, it wasn't supposed to take me that long. We were delayed. Um, first that is delay was such a long flight. The airport in Johannesburg. I was on a Qantas flight and they said, oh, sorry sir, there's a bit of a delay. I said, how long? They said, 24 hours. <laughs> So that's another day, that's cancellation. <laughs> so that's another day. So they said, come back tomorrow. I came back the next day, and then we tried it again, and this time we were on the plane. And then there was another delay of about four to five hours where we were stuck on the tarmac, and the plane couldn't take off because the airplane wasn't balanced. I've never heard of that in my life. <laughs> that's what the pilot said. And, like, because he's a pilot... That's interesting. Leave him. He, just, he just said it. Because the pilot sounds serious when they're saying it. He came on and said, ladies and gentlemen, uh, I've got a bit of a problem on the plane. Uh, don't know what's going on. Seems like uh, it's not uh, balanced. Oh, uh, it is. We'll have to check out Excellent. And uh, we'll get back to you as soon as we know. <laughs> and I won't lie. That's some impressive Aussie accent right there. Nice. <laughs> As soon as he said that, I looked at the fat people. <laughs> but not, not in a bad way, not in a bad way. Just in an objective manner, like, hey, you guys, you can't sit together. You need to sit one on the <laughs> plane. Probably you, it's probably you. <laughs> Speaking of fat people, is Biggest Loser the biggest <laughs> show in, in uh, Australia? That's all I see on TV, is this The Biggest Loser. I love that show, it's fantastic. It's always on TV. What a fantastic show. For those who don't know, The Biggest Loser is a show where they, they try and help fat people lose weight uh, through torture, basically. <laughs> yes, both emotional and physical. Yeah. They do horrible things, like leaving food in the house that they're living in, then ask them why they're eating it. Why did you eat the food? Why did you eat the food? Because it was there and he's fat. That's what he does. That's what he's before you came, why you uh, yeah, no, that's the most ironic thing ever about that show because you could literally just remove everything 
all the food out of the house and then replace it with healthier choice and everything so they have no choice but to eat that but if you leave all those junk food everything in there it does not do the progress of it so which is it's facts it's facts it's that's torture man they should do a show about the people that make the show and call them the biggest assholes that's what they <laughs> Facts. 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 An amazing show. Facts. But yeah, so we were flying. So we flew. Uh, so flew from Johannesburg to to Sydney. Sydney, you come in, um, and then you have to leave the airport and then go back into the airport to fly. Uh, you go through border control. Very friendly. I must say, Australia. I'm very impressed. Very friendly border control. You guys are very chilled out. Very cool. Like visas, not not really like mm. sort of it is, but not like the. Do you have your visa? No. <laughs> you know. <laughs> I the secret to getting through uh, from a few Chinese men that were ahead of me is that you just have to irritate the border police and then they just let you in. There's a guy ahead of me and the woman was asking him, excuse me, sir, where are you going to be staying in Australia? No, where are you staying? Like, Kang kangaroo, kangaroo. Kang no, sir, where are you staying? Kangaroo, kangaroo. No, no sir, you can't, no, it's not like, where are you going to be staying? Kangaroo, kangaroo. Kang All right, just go in, just go in, just go in. <laughs> <laughs> It was fantastic. It was fantastic. Yes. Yeah, they don't want to be there all day. It works every time. It just, you know, <laughs> this knowing look about him. And so we, you come in, and, and, and it seems too easy because it is, because the board. <laughs> is very but then you get like, to the customs, which is the most hardcore place in the world. I don't know what the hell happened in Australia, but you guys need to chill out when it comes to fruit. People oh, wow. Strip shirts. Where did you get the apple? I don't care if you can't speak English. You're gonna spend a week in quarantine, mate. Where did you get the apple? I don't Yo, wow, that Aussie just came out raw. I was like, okay. I don't know about that. That's very interesting. If you guys are very particular about your fruits in custom. I don't care. I don't care. Where's the apple from? <laughs> You see people, it's like, there was a guy that was stopped for weed, that was that marijuana? Well, don't do it again, but you with the apple! <laughs> back to where you came from! <laughs> what? And they're cheering. What to your country? You right? It's such a weird place getting used to Australia, because you finally come in, and then you can't understand anybody. You really, really can't, because, because like, you guys say you speak English, but it's not. It's like you, like, you, like you try, but then I couldn't tell. Like, sometimes it actually sounds like it's Chinese. I used to hear people making jokes about, oh, there's all these Chinese, but, but then when you come, you don't know if the Australians are Chinese or not Chinese, because like, it sounds the same to me, especially like a very deep Australian accent. It's very, like, like people say things, oh, yeah, how you go? Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, 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 <laughs> oh, it's funny because I had a teammate in um in college. Uh, he's from Australia, and he had an accent, but like works for him, man. Works for him a lot, but it was strong. Even sometimes I'm like, excuse me, it works. It works. Funniest guy ever. I don't know what's going on here, man. This is this is really, And then the phrases I do understand don't make sense. Like a, like positive phrases. Like apparently apparently she'll be right. I don't know who she is and how she applies to me. <laughs> it's very important to say what? in Australia. Uh, you also feel it's very important to tell everybody that you have no worries. Yeah. This is. I didn't ask you about your life's philosophy. I just asked you how you were on the day. And you. Oh, no. No worries, no worries. Really? Not even one? Not even one worry? Is Australia think that good here? No, not, not even one? Not even prostate cancer? Not even one? Not even North Korea? Because those guys are close. Not even, not even one worry? Yeah. yeah. And the strangest one, and this is something I've learned, which I wish you'd teach people before they come, is uh, the correct answer to the phrase, how you going, is not by aeroplane. I, uh, <laughs> It's strange to ask people this when they are traveling. I was, I was flying with Sydney and then we were going from to Melbourne. And I got to the counter and I said to the woman, Hi, I'm going to Melbourne, please. And she said, Oh, yeah, how are you going? I said, By aeroplane. <laughs> that is why I've chosen this building over here to be traveling in. And she said, No, no, I was greeting you. And I said, Oh, no worries. You guys have been great. Thanks for having me.
Oh my days, man. That's good. That's really good. Trevor is so underrated as a comedian. Like, I know a lot of people know about him and he did the Daily Show and everything, but this is just even better and fantastic. Yeah, no worries. No worries. <laughs> All right, man. I'll see you guys later. Thank you guys for watching, man. Peace out. <laughs>